And welcome to this episode of GTP TV. My name is Rowan Brown, I'm a director here at Green Tail Partners. Today I'm going to be talking about the contract reporting regime and how it relates particularly in using your QuickBooks software. Uh, the regime came in as of the 1st of July 2012 and all reporting will be required to be reported to the ATO by the 21st of July 2013 for the 2013 financial year. The information to be reported is going to be required for all businesses involved in the building and construction industry and it relates to any supply of uh, labour or services provided by those other contract or subcontractors involved in the building and construction industry. An example of this is if a builder was to deal with a window supplier, if that window supplier provided the windows and installed those windows, that would be required to be reported. If that window supplier solely provided the supply of the materials being the windows and the builder themselves installed those, that would not be required to be reported. The software for QuickBooks makes it quite nice and easy to do this reporting. And one of the easiest ways of doing it is simply to go up to your supplier area. So you go supplier, supplier center, and under a supplier, an example here we've got Casey Labor Hire. You can right click and edit supplier. And under additional information, they've got a type here which we can choose contractor. Now if you haven't got that contractor set up, you just need to go and set up that type within your software. Just look at your help and you'll find out about that. Uh, once you set up all the different suppliers that are going to be required for this regime during the year, simply at the end of the year we can print reports and get the information. Now the information re requires the ABN if you know it, their name, address, the total you've paid them and the GST included in that total. So while we're in here we can just make sure we do have their address and details like that. Uh, so at the end of the year we have all the information required simply at our fingertips within our software to report on the reports. Let's click OK and we'll close that one. So come the end of the year an easy way to get this sort of information from the software is to go reports, company and financial and then simply expenses by supplier in this case we're going to use a detail report simply because I'm after a bit more detail than the summary report. Now in the, my case I'm going to modify my report. I'm actually going to change it to a cash basis. Now the reason I'm changing it to cash is that the report thing on the report for the ATO is supposed to be on based on the, the items you've actually paid for not necessarily what you've just incurred the expense for. We're actually wanting to track what subcontractors you've actually paid. So we'll change that to that. A handy part of the QuickBooks is you can easily customise the way the report is. One of the things I actually want to add is there will be an item down here for tax amount. There it is. And that's going to add that into this report over here. So I can click OK. And you see we've actually got the tax amounts appear now. Now further modification I want to do, and this is the final part of it, and while we show that contractor part, is in the filters in here, we can actually go down and there is a supplier type, and we say show only suppliers who are contractors. So remember, we've only set this contractors thing for those people we want to report on. So we can click OK. Now I'm just using some sample data here, but I'm actually going to change it to last financial year. And you can see our Casey Labor Hire has now appeared. It's showing all the amounts we paid during the year and the tax was included in that. Now simply on our report for the ATO, we add these two figures together, being the paid amount and the tax amount, and that's what we need to report, plus then also report that tax amount. As I showed you earlier, we can get the details for Casey Labor Hire from their card file and report that on the form. Once you've done that for all those people that appear on this report for the financial year, you submit it with the ATO and that's it. I hope this video has been of benefit to you and look forward to seeing you in other videos soon. Thank you.